What's up, everyone? Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 Insane Difficulty. So, in the last episode, we beat up the Marquis Elmdor and stole all of his stuff, so we got some sweet new Genji gear. Uh, that will come into play at some point, I'm sure. I think we're actually using uh, one of the pieces in this fight here. Uh, so, he escaped into the, I guess, the basement or the catacombs of Limberry Castle, and we are chasing him. Um, and he's going to turn into his big Zodiac Lukavi form, uh, Zalera. So we're going to have to beat him up and all of his friends, and then we'll be on our way. So this is what we came up with for this fight. So Ramza is going to be a ninja again with a, with two Sasuke knives, a Thief Hat Power Sleeve, and we're giving everyone defense rings because Zalera can cast Nightmare, which does Sleep or Death Sentence or whatever it does. And I just remember that the, the, the defense ring is what... Um, prevents all those stupid statuses from happening. Uh, Connor's also coming as a ninja with two air knives, a thief hat power sleeve. Uh, there's going to be our two, well, two of our three main damage dealers. We're bringing Mustadia because there's a bunch of undead in this fight. So we made him as fast as possible with an engineer rifle, thief hat carabini mail, and he's just going to be um, petrifying as many people as possible. And then we're going to bring Malik because he gets some use in this fight as well. Same thing that he's always doing. And then Dutwa is a Lancer, uh, and he is decked out with a with the Javelin 2, the Escutcheon 2, a Genji Helmet, Carabini Mail, and Sprint Shoes. He's going to be doing a buttload of damage, and we gave him item and throw item, so he can be pretty useful um, for when we need to start picking people up. But that's the squad, so let's get to it. All right, so here we go. Underground Cemetery below Limberry. So this is where we're going to fight the big bug-looking guy, Zalera, uh, and all of his undead companions. Uh, so the main reason we bought Mustadio again is just so he can run around petrifying everything, uh, and that's going to be his job. So we want to try and take care of these two Death Knights at the front as soon as possible. They're the, uh, the bigger issues. And then our uh, tertiary characters, such as like Melia Duel, is going to be joining us in this fight, and our Lancer can take care of the back row demons, or the skeletons, whatever they are. So that's the plan, hopefully. And Melee is actually kind of useful in uh, 1.3, because she comes with new abilities. She gets Crush Punch, and uh, a new ability, even new to the whole entire game, called Crush Punch 2, which allows her to cast it on an AoE template, like a just like a plus sign. So what we're going to do on Ram's turn is we're going to run up and we're going to punch this Death Knight in his head. And by punch, I mean hit him with swords. Very good. Barrier doesn't matter. We should be able to finish him off with Connor on the next turn. So Connor's going to take his turn to go onto this tile here. And we're going to throw stuff. And this should still kill you. 117. Nice. That is one Death Knight down. Okay. So Larry's going to take his turn, probably run into the corner, cast Flare 2 on Ramza. That's fine. Uh, we honestly don't... doesn't matter what he does. So, with Sadio's turn, we're going to move up two squares. And what we want him to do is to petrify this Death Knight. Just take him out of the fight. There we go. It's both Death Knights taken care of. Amelia Duel's going to get her turn now. This is the power of the Zodiac Stone? So she finally comes to the realization that everything that we've been saying is true, and that the Holy Stones are evil, and that her father, Vormov, is evil, and that Islud was killed not by us, but by the Church. Basically, Vormov himself. Alright, so what are you going to do, Melee Duel? Crush Punch 2. I'm going to kill him. Alright, didn't quite kill. That's okay, though. Alright, so the reason we brought Malak is because this guy is up four tiles in the air, so we can probably do some good damage to him. Yeah, 286, 807 health, so it means we need to hit him three times. It's the only tile we can hit. Come on, one more. Nice. Cool. So that guy's out of commission for a while. 
All right, Malik, he's dead. My goodness. And then we'll uh, we'll just stay in place, I guess, to conserve some CT. And then what do I want to do with you? I guess let's go here, and we'll attack 360. So that puts you down to 108. And I think that's an HP restoring. So we're just gonna we'll just throw a potion at you instead. Or is Phoenix down do more than 150? No, it doesn't. Okay, so high potion it is, or mega potion it is. We'll kill you next turn. No big deal. Alright, so the skeleton is gonna get a turn. What's he gonna do? He's gonna attack from Stadio. Knife hand on Malik. Okay. It's fine. What are you doing? You're probably going to kill Malik, aren't you? Nope. You're going to cast Death on Mustadio. Interesting. Okay. Hope that misses. It'd be terrible if it hit. Okay, so... Unfortunately, Ramza misses his turn here. And if we go to pick him up, then Zalera will be able to get a double Flare 2 on us. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna we're just gonna throw stuff at him since we can't get into melee range. So it doesn't matter. Just throw a lightning bolt. Okay. All right, come on, miss. Nice. Alright, what's Zolera going to do? Probably cast Flare on our ninja since he just went. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, Mustadio, can you seal this guy? 55, 0, because Malik's in the way. Alright, let's go for this guy. Alright, that's fine. Wait in place. Alright, Malik. That hits four tiles. If I go here, then it's four tiles and two are good. If I go here, then it's only three tiles on that guy. Four tiles that guy. Oh, that's on the wrong ability. Hmm. I don't want to trigger HP Restore. Five tiles. All right, let's go with this. I think this is our best play. Good? Okay. Not ideal. Alright, melee duel. Kill something. Fresh punch two. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess hitting Malik doesn't matter, but you triggered HP restore on that guy, so I kinda hate you. Um... To... Can't jump on him. I guess I could just get Malik up as fodder again. Yeah, hey, let's do that. Get him up. Player two. Bye, Ninja. Okay, it's so fast. How did he get a turn before Mustadio got to go again? Alright, Mustadio. P3. When does Zalera go next? Goes after Mustadio's next turn. But Mustadio is moving this turn, so... That's gonna change, right? I just don't want to get caught in a position where we get two people flared, but I do need to get... I need to get ramps up, so let's do this. I think this is going to be okay. I mean, this could be the horribly wrong decision, but I think that's right. Okay, so Lara goes now. I'm hoping that Rams is going to get a turn 
No, he won't. That's an instant flare, too. What the hell, man? Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Alright. Meliodil, can you deal with that guy? Please kill him. Alright, well... Ugh, missed his turn again. This is terrible. This is terrible. So the only thing we can do is get Mustadio up again. And then if Mustadio gets to go before Ramza goes... Which, I mean, before Zalera goes... Yeah, so we can do this. Pick him up, even though he's not going to get a turn. We should be able to get out of the way and only have one person get hit by Flare. Let's put you... Yeah, let's put you here just in case you get a turn to get our ninja up. Yep, that's fine. I think you're casting Gravity, so that is a pretty good chance to miss. Alright, this stupid bone guy gets to go. Why do you do 310 damage? It's third. Alright, gravity two. Come on. Miss. Okay, didn't miss. That's okay. Oh, talky talk time. Yes, we understand. You, you believe us now. Let's, let's just move on with our lives. Okay, so... We should be able to get you up and then you get a turn. Yeah, we can chain all of these together, it looks like. Let's chain some Resurrects. Now, the thing that we have to worry about at this point is that Death Knight's on zero, so he could pop up at any moment and really screw things up for us. Uh, so let's Phoenix down Mustadio. And then move across and so we don't get double flared. Let's go here. Alright, melee duel. You gonna get Malik up? No, you're not. Okay. Kill him. Thank you. Alright, so now you can get Malik up. Alright, now everyone's alive. If I don't move you, then we're going to get double flared. So let's go... Here. Looks good. Alright, well I don't know what to do on your turn now, Musadi. You can actually do something. Can you shoot him? Very nice. Shoot him. And then we'll move you down here. Alright, Zalera, what's the plan? Okay, that's very okay with me. No, that's not okay with me, though. None of that is okay with me. Yikes. That did a lot of damage. Alright. Now we can get a, a mid-charge off. Uh, actually, is... Yeah, Connor's going to get a turn, so let's do this instead. How do I want to do this? Can I... Yeah, let's move up here and throw something. I think that's okay. Yeah, 225 on a throw, that's good. So since... Connor's going to die anyway to Flare 2. What I want to do is I'm going to run him into Zalera and then mid-charge him. So we're going to do 660 damage plus the Flare damage to himself. Alright, Malik. What do I want you to do? Probably get Melee Duel up. Even though she's not going to be very useful. Yeah, let's get her up anyway, though. 
He was, she's in critical, so she's probably going to try and heal herself, or she's just going to run away. But I'd rather her be up than not up. Alright, so the flare goes off. Dead ninja, plus a bunch of damage onto Zlara, equals profit. Yeah, 450 damage, plus the 662. So we did over 1,000 damage on that turn, which very okay with. Alright, what are you doing, Melee Duel? Yep, you're just running. Okay. Uh, I can't quite get you up yet. Do I want somebody to come back and help? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, we'll see. We're gonna go here and wait. Oh, Mustadio, yeah, you're gonna get a turn. Ooh, that's gonna be a double flare, though, because I messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's, we're going to end up getting double flared, but I think our Lancer can live one. But I want to try and seal this guy, if we can. There we go. Alright, now we don't have to deal with him coming back to life anymore. Yep, that's going to go on to Ramza. I think he's going to get a cast off before Ramza gets to go. No, Ramza will get to go. Interesting, okay. So that means that you should be on 100 also. I wonder if I wonder if he's going to get a turn before Flare goes off. I ha I have to imagine that since he's on 100 CT, he's going to get his turn before the spell goes off. I could be wrong though. Like if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I think that's how it works. He should get his turn now. Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. So now we can come over and mid charge him. So yeah, I could be here. Double tack. Very nice. Oh no. That guy's alive. This is terrible news. Oh, these guys are such a pain. I wish they would just stay dead. Okay, so now that's a dead Ramza. Huh? My entire plan... Went to went to heck because of that guy getting up. So hopefully on Mustadio's turn we can seal him. Melodio is just going to keep running. She's not going to do anything. All right, Malik. What can you do? Nothing really. Kind of a liability. I guess let's just move you into a closer spot so maybe we can get somebody up. Now we can't get Ramza up, but we can get our ninja up. That's going to still be a double flare. Triple flare at this point. So this is probably a stupid move, but we need to get him up. We need damage. Okay, Mustadio. Need to move you. Uh, I don't think I can shoot over that. I can definitely shoot this. 55. Nice. Okay. Ooh. That guy's dealt with. But the problem here is he's going to probably put this in between all of us. Alright, in between those two. It's fine. So, this gives me an opportunity to get Bramza up, because he's not targeting our ninja. Alright, good. That guy didn't get up, thankfully. Alright, so that's going to be a dead Malak, and I think our Lancer will live that. I think he's only going to take 400 from it. 388, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Alright, Melee Duel, just sitting there. Alright, we'll have you get Malak up. Since that's probably the most useful thing you can do at the moment. Alright, and then you, what do I want you to do? I want to get Melee Duel back into the fight, so I guess let's throw a potion at her or something. Yeah, let's go here. And we'll throw a Mega Potion at her. Maybe she'll start walking around and doing things again. Alright, 
So Rams' turn is now. Need to stay spread out. So let's just throw something from here. And then we'll move. I think that's the right move. Yeah, so let's go up here. And same thing with you. Row and move. This fight is very resemblant of the, the Velius fight, where he just does a lot of AoE damage, and we have to keep everyone spread out so we don't get more than one person killed at a time. I think I messed that up, though, again. Get out of there, melee duel. I think I got three people hit right here. Because I'm very smart. I may be the smartest man that have ever that's ever lived. What am I doing? And he's gonna miss his turn. He already missed his turn. He already missed his turn. Fantastic. Okay, so let's just save CT and we'll throw stuff. Maybe Melee Duel will pick somebody up. Idiot. So we can get him, we can get our Lancer up, and then he'll still get his turn. That was a bonehead move. Okay, that's... Is he casting gravity? He is. At melee duel, okay. Fine with me. So let's take this opportunity to get people up. Should be able to get Mustadio up from this tile. Yep, can. Cool. And then on Mustadio's turn, he can chain that to Malik. But we need to move. So let's go up here. Alright, melee duel. Don't get anyone else hit. What are you doing? Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Melee Duel? I hate her so much. Alright. I kind of want just to conserve CT and save our turns. That guy's going to try and cast Death on himself to get all of his HP back. Can't believe you do that to me, Melee Duel. That was messed up. Now you're staying down, because that was... Probably the worst AI I've ever seen. Okay, so then you can get Malik up. And we go over here to get out of the way of everyone. Alright, come on, miss. Nice. Okay, Malik. Yep, we'll put this guy back down. Hey, you were useful for once. Alright, now Zolera should have a long cast time, I would imagine. Ugh, this guy's up now. And he's gonna kill the one guy that can deal with him. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. That's super frustrating. Trying to get the turn order flipped back into my favor here. Alright, let's just hit him with a ball. Alright, who are you casting at? Casting at our ninja. Okay. So, if I were to try to jump on you, how much does it do? 540, so that drops you into HP Restore. Does What's-His-Face get a turn first? Connor won't get a turn. Okay. So, trying to heal that guy. Can I? Is there any way that I can get Mustadio up and safely? Probably not, right? No. 
All right, so let's just, just jump on Zolaris head then. Maybe this will miss. Nope. Heals his guy, kills my guy. What a legend. And Connor's missed his turn now. Can't get Mustadio up. Amelia Duel won't get anybody up because she's in critical. Don't think I could kill that guy. I'm pretty sure Zolera is going to go first. When does Zolera go? He goes next. Okay. I guess let's just move and wait. Yep, that's fine. Alright, Malik, I need you to get Mustadio up. I don't know how the turn order got so out of whack. I should be able to have somebody get casted Flare 2 at, and then be able to run it into Solera every time. Ah, and then this guy goes and kills Mustadio. Hmm... Very annoyed. Very annoyed. Alright, so you're going to be up in a moment. Okay, so let's go get our ninja up. Let's try to chain these together again. And 75 CT. Yeah, let's get Masadio up. I want to try and petrify that guy. Or he does any more damage. Him just being able to walk around just throwing 200 damage abilities at it will is not fun. Alright, so that's going to be a dead Ramza. That's okay. Eventually the turn order is going to line up in my favor. Okay, here we go. Um, how do I want to... What is good spot to go from. One, two... Okay, so we can shoot at you from here. So let's seal evil. 42%. That's not great. Yep. Seen that coming. Alright, Malik. Malik, Malik, Malik. What do I do with you? Really isn't much I can do. I guess I can go here and try and sky demon back, but it's going to do like no damage. Or it's not going to even hit. So there are four tiles that this could hit. Yep, go ahead. Yell at them. And you're going to miss all your tiles. I'm sure of it. Why do I bring you... Cool. Alright, at least there's that. You hit him twice. Come on, miss. No such luck. Alright, you're on 100 CT, so I can't do anything to you. Alright, I can, I can start chaining together again, looks like. I'm hoping that he kills Malik and not Mustadio, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. I can get you up from here, I think. Don't even have to move. Maybe I should have brought somebody else that could petrify units. Somebody with yin yang magic. This skeletons, even though they're not very strong, just annoying. Because I'm running around at very low HP, and then I have to deal with them. Can't get you up. We're next to Zolaris, so let's attack, I guess. It's free damage. Nicely done. Move you away. 
You're probably going to cast Flare at Ramza again. Yep, it's fine. It looks like gravity, actually. Miss. No such luck. Alright. That guy's going to get to go before Mustadio again. But he's on a, a really good Sky Demon back tile, but I don't have enough MP. But I can Diamond Sword him. Alright, let's... Let's see what my options are here. I have 25 MP, so... That's not good damage at all. That would have to hit... Five times, and Mustadio hasn't been that good. So, we'll try it. Because if it hits less than that, he's going to HP restore. Alright, good. Thanks for coming through for once, Mustadio. Uh, Malik, whatever your dumb name is. Okay, so let's. Throw another Phoenix down. Ah, Zalera goes first. Okay, that's okay. So we're gonna run this into you and bop you in the face. I'm okay with all of that. Um. Yeah, I gotta get you up now. Okay. Um yeah. This is right. Even though it's even though the CT is in a different order, just in case. Because I our ninja's really fast. I don't want to get him to crystallize. So Rams is dead again, which is okay, but is gonna hit himself for about five hundred. And we creep ever so closer to killing him. Do this again. A little scared that we're so close to being in double gravity or flare range. We might just go for a, a two man gravity here. Nope. Okay. This is even better. Alright. Ninja, you can go get Mustadio up. Nope. Not on yourself. And very nice. So now we can chain this onto Zalera again. So this is what I was trying to do the entire time, was get him in, caught in this kind of loop where I could just do 800 damage attacks, plus have him flare himself for 500. And I just couldn't get the, the, the turn order to go correctly. But I swear to you, this is what was intended all along. Okay, Malik. Let's just get you... I'll just wait you here. Everyone conserving CT, pretty much. Uh, I don't want to group them up, because then Zalara may be tempted to come down and hit both of them. So let's go here. And you can wait there. And then Phoenix down here. And then we'll back up. Um, yeah, this tile looks better. Which tile looks... actually, this one looks better. Alright, do the same thing you've been doing, Zolera. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Let me just keep doing it with this. Another 800. Good, that guy didn't get up. Great. And then Flare 2. Zalera may kill himself here. We've done a lot of damage. Okay, you can keep waiting. You can keep waiting. You can keep waiting. Oh, wait, did, did I miss my Lancer's turn? 
Or did I wait through it? No, I didn't. Okay. One, two, three, four. I guess the turn order was just a little weird there. But that's okay. Okay, we'll wait in place here. And then... Mustadio, we're just going to have you keep waiting. Hopefully these skeletons don't pop up. Wait, you can wait. Alright, so that guy popped up with 1 HP. He's going to kill somebody. Or no, he's just going to go for Demi to heal himself. So Lancer dies here. I miss. That's all right. Uh, what we'll do is we'll pick him up because I'm pretty sure we can just put him back down on the ninja's turn. And then attack Solaire. Oh, we can't because he's floating. So good at this game. I always forget that he has float, so I can't just attack him when I'm below him. That's fine. Alright, now he should be targeting Ramza. That's, again, that's okay. Alright, Ninja should be able to kill the skeleton. Yeah, 270, that puts him back in the ground. Malik, you can come get the Lancer up. He hasn't had his turn yet, it looks like, which is very good, actually. Now we can jump on his head. It's dead Ramza again. I wonder how many casualties I've had in this playthrough so far. I'm gonna check the I'm gonna check the record when we're out once we're out of here. And there we go, that's dead Zalera. So, the fight did not go as intended. Like, what the original plan was, was to get him caught in a loop where he's just constantly casting Flare at one person, and we just run in and do 800 damage plus the Flare damage. And we just didn't quite get there until the end of the fight. But, whatever, we still got there. So we're finally done with Limberry Castle. Don't have to come back here ever again. And we can move on to go fight Dice Stars. What did we get from this fight? Anything good? Curse Strength. Whatever. We have a few of those already. And this is where we get Melee Duel to join up, and she finally realizes the stone's holy power, the holy stone's power, and thought that it was just some sort of rock, and the stories were whatever. But she didn't realize, like, this, the eldritch power that would, that's within them, and that they can cause these miracles, whether they be good or evil. Yeah, so then they talk about how. They don't believe that the, the Lukavi monsters are actually immortal because we've been able to defeat every single one of them. Um, and even though the legend says that they were these immortal beasts, we seem to have, quote-unquote, no trouble defeating them. Uh, and Ramza just found out that Dysar has been given one of these holy stones, so we're going to go find out uh, what that's all about. And we're going to add Melee Duels to the party. So uh, I guess in between episodes, I forgot to let you guys know that I did dismiss a few units... Um, so, unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to both Orlando and Agrius. I wasn't planning on using either of them. Um, Orlando got really nerfed in the 1.3 mod, and his growths are really bad, too. He's just not a very good unit. He lost a lot of his sword skills. Uh, so I dropped them in favor of some Hydras, because I was doing some poaching. I was trying to get some, uh, some Satimsons for haste and transparent perfume stuff for females. So we're just going to get rid of one of these Hydras. We don't need them right now. And Melee Duel will join up with us. 
But I, I, I did forget to mention that we did get rid of Orlando and Agrius because I wasn't planning on using them anyway. So it is what it is. Oh, beautiful world map. I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. All right, so the next place we're going to go is over to Eager's Castle, as you can see, it's a red dot. Uh, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So if you liked everything that you saw here today, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All the links to our social media are on the right-hand side of the screen. And as always, links to the podcast will be in the description below. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.